If you are currently suffering with an assortment of thyroid imbalances, or maybe you feel like you have a thyroid imbalance, but your labs are normal. In today's video, I'm going to share with you the number one most overlooked and under-tested thyroid value that could be the creeper value in terms of your thyroid state, the synthesis of thyroid hormone, and could be resulting in low thyroid function. If you're frustrated and sick and tired of being sick and tired and feeling like your symptoms are not representative in labs, today's transformative test health tip might literally change the focus on your thyroid health. Let's go. Sadly, most doctors are only running one or two thyroid values. And what I find as a naturopathic physician working with a lot of patients who are frustrated with the model of not testing the full thyroid and or having labs that are in normal range but still presenting with an assortment of symptoms that are both problematic and imbalanced and debilitating in many cases, I dig deeper. And this is the one thing I wanna share with you in today's video the most important and most overlooked lab value that could have you in a state of thyroid dysfunction is the fact that you are not having your reverse T3 tested. Okay, so let's talk about this value. It is considered an inactive thyroid hormone. Now, just by nature of that inactivity, it tends to be sidelined and not considered important by a lot of medical providers. But it is super important and it's gonna tell us a lot about underlying causes of hormonal imbalance, particularly thyroid dysfunction in your body. And it's also gonna tell us why perhaps the medication aimed at balancing your T4 is not functional or ineffective. So if you are being medicated and your labs are still in normal range and you still feel like you know what, I am really excited to recommend that you implore your doctor to test your reverse T3. Next time you go for labs, make sure they test the whole perspective, the whole cascade of your thyroid values. And honestly, if you're not sure, I have a free download that just gives you a checklist. It's my thyroid hormone lab panel checklist. Download it for free, and that way you don't have to worry about taking notes or forgetting where you took the notes. You just print it out and you say, this is what I want. And most of the time they're like, okay, no problem. So when patients actually get the reverse T3 levels tested, it can show us a lot about what's going on with your thyroid function. Our T3 or reverse T3, it functions, even though it's inactive, it functions to pump the brakes. So it pushes the brakes on the synthesis of certain thyroid hormones. And what happens is we have a conversion issue. Reverse T3 basically analyzes the uptake of T4 into T3. So it's an important link between T4 and T3. And therein lies, in the middle, the connector, if you will, therein lies the problem. So many times, patients who are experiencing thyroid dysfunction or presenting with hypothyroid symptoms, but their labs are in normal range, your reverse T3 can be the factor. And I know what you're gonna ask next. What is an ideal RT3 value? Well, the range is quite broad. You guys know I'm not a fan of the wide, broad, values of normal because poles, the low and high end can give you issues. And really we have to look at each individual person and certain influences, but ultimately an optimal reverse T3 would be between 11 and 18. That's, that's the tightness that I look at. Now, what do you do if you have elevated RT3? Generally, it's gonna tell us you have a lot of stress. Ultimately, here are the underlying factors for RT3 imbalances, either too high or too low. Mostly people are presenting with not optimal or elevated levels. Stress, particularly cortisol, will create a disruption in that T4 to RT3, that whole T4, T3 conversion. Caloric restrictions like a keto diet or extensive fasting and dieting, as well as nutrient deficiencies, particularly here 
inadequate iron levels, whether it's iron or ferritin or both. So just know iron is a really important part of that whole conversion. Gut problems, a lack of sleep and inflammation, as well as toxins can all influence that reverse T3 value. So just know our T3 might be the missing link for you to be able to identify with your provider, your clinician, just how dialed in, if you are being medicated, you might not just need a, a T4 medication, you might also need a T3 meds. Now, I'm not a big fan of medicating for the thyroid in the conventional pharmaceutical sense, but I'll share with you one of my favorite herbals because I know you're going to want to know what do I recommend. I'll share my thyroid supplement. It's a liquid herbal, it's very gentle, but it helps to address stress, toxins, the liver-related dysfunction that can be influenced by cortisol. So I'll share with you that in the description box below. So just know if you are dealing with thyroid imbalance, it's not in your head and don't take no for an answer. If you ask your clinician to run this and they say, I don't do that. There are many different ways and many different clinicians who will. And we run tests here that are at home test kits that have reverse T3 included in a full panel, including the antibody tests. So just know that there are ways for you to test RT3 and if your doctor doesn't want to do it, fire them and move on. So those are my tips for you today. I hope this was helpful and I do hope that you'll download my thyroid test checklist in the description box below. Have that on hand next time you go to your clinician and demand your optimal wellness. You deserve it. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you on our next video.